Welcome back to the Stoop Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. We got Mark and we got James. And I know me and James have been uh, very friendly for the past eight weeks, ten weeks or so. But today, I don't think so. It's time to stop playing nice and start playing real. Yeah, detente is over. The detente is over. The detente. Uh, but before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We love our subscribers. We love when you like it and we love when you comment. We always write back. Uh, so let's get started. So you guys usually set up in, what is it, like a 4141? Yeah. Something like that? Where Calvin yeah. Phillips would be that one? Yeah. And then you send your two, um, your two fullbacks up the our side. Two fullbacks up. I mean, obviously having Phillips back there. And then he becomes a back two. three while they're yeah. attacking. Right? Yeah. You know, you need, and in Gale's system, he has to have the fullbacks. He has to give the fullbacks a lot of freedom in the attack yeah. and to move up and join the attack. So, you know, with Phil, having Phillips back there, that'll allow them more freedom to do that as well. I think that gives, you know, him more confident, more confidence in, you know, that someone's back there protecting our back too in that case. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't, think, I don't think there's, you know, a lot of changes that are going to be made. And like I said, it's all going to be predicated upon who's healthy, who's fit, and who isn't, you know. Uh, as far as Arsenal, what they can do is I would, uh, <laughs> I would do, I would look at the, the Crystal Palace, Leicester, yeah. uh, you know, their blueprints, yeah. and then see if somehow it can be emulated. I, I don't know, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what sort of weapons Arsenal has as far as, uh, you know, counterattacking options, uh, you know, how much pace they have. So, I mean, that's, I mean, that's the key is pace. I mean, you have to have somebody like a Harvey Barnes or an Eze or someone who's going to disrupt yeah. uh, leads in the back. And that's, and, and that of course is pace. I mean, you know, you gotta have people who are going to make that, you know, make that transition from defense to offense in a hurry. The way I would, the way I would like to see a setup is with a back three. Mm -hmm. where our fullbacks become a back five. Um, uh, five in the back, but then Bellerin and Tierney or Maitland-Niles and Tierney, which uh, Maitland-Niles is a lot more aggressive uh, and he's as fast as Bellerin. Um, he's the one who took control of Traore against Wolves last mm -hmm. season. Yeah. Um, he hasn't been getting a sniff, uh, which is weird, but I would like to see a back three maybe holding um, David Luis and and Gabriel, with Gabriel in the middle, and then our two our two fullbacks. But the most important thing is up front. Uh, I we've been having three up front. We've been having Abamyang, Lacazette, and Willian. I would like to see it maybe a front two, where you have Abamyang and Pepe. Pepe's the pace, Aubameyang is the pace, but if you have two of them, two of them, and then you can put behind them in the middle, Willian. Uh, Lacazette, I, I don't think he plays this week. I, I think we have them two, and then you have someone creative right there in the middle, uh, Ceballos, Willian, and then you have Parte, El Nene, Shaka. I think this is too many players on the bench. Um, <laughs> Do they throw a flag for that? But at this point, we don't need Leno. He's He's been pretty terrible. Um, I would <laughs> rather see more people up front. But yeah. I, I think if we have Aubameyang and Pepe staying up front, I don't want to see Aubameyang playing defense in the box. Stay up there. It forces your back three. Two, at least two of your back four to stay back. And it makes Stuart Dallas and Luke Ayling think twice about running all the way up the pitch because they're not gonna be able to keep up with Pepe. He is blisteringly fast. Uh, yeah. And the, the fitness that they have, that Leeds United has, by the end of the game, it's still gonna be difficult. And then you bring in a bruiser like Lacazette to, yeah. That, that's what I think, is I think we need to shore up the back and then instead of having a wide attack... That's good. Instead of having a wide attack, you guys do the wide attack and we'll just cut you from the middle while you guys are playing out so wide. But hey, yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a Premier League manager. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I think, what I think I that, that if Rodrigo's return will give us a lot more options in the middle of the pitch. Yeah, um, yeah. Then we then we've had then we've had over the past uh, couple of weeks, because I mean if you notice yeah like our attacks on the, have almost been exclusively down the flanks, and that is you know that again not not a recipe for success or consistent success. You have to go to the middle of the field, and the middle, middle of the field is where you're going to create space. You're going to get those through balls. Yep. And you're going to get those uh, you know those shots on goal or, or in front of the mouth of goal. You know if you look at the blueprint. Over the past couple of weeks, I mean, it's very simple. I mean, you, you let leads come up, you surrender ground, you give give up ground, you go back, you let them kick, you know, let leads kick the ball around in the middle yep. of the pitch, yep. and it's basically harmless. You know, if you have to attack that, you, you, know, you close down the middle, force uh, leads down the flanks, and uh, and then you know, you, or you wait for the interception, wait for someone to be dispossessed, and then you immediately transition to counterattack, yep. and that is what. You know, that's been the blueprint that has beaten us over the past couple of weeks. So we'll see, you know. And that's where I feel the two most important players for Arsenal the, against Leeds will be Thomas Partey. He needs to do exactly what you said and own the middle. Yeah. He needs to own the midfield. And he can. He can. And then, believe it or not, Sideshow Bob, David Luiz, <laughs> because... <sighs> He is, he is Brett Favre, he is, he is, um, who, who else? Brett Favre, Tom Brady. Brett Favre, <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> you know, Drew Brees. Uh, right. No, so, but so, he is the quarterback in the back where he can yeah. pick a long pass to a flying Pepe. So I think that's going to be a lot of what we do is get the ball, pass, 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 pass back, wait, wait, wait launch a pass and he's gonna I, I i'm calling dava luis with one assist all right so 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 let me ask you nick does he start or does he come off the bench he starts okay he starts so with that said at what point does he get his first card Ooh. yellow Ooh. card or red we know he's 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 liable for these things minute four minute four <laughs> david luis gets a yellow card <laughs> I think right away he's like, come on, we are going to win, boys. Let's go. We are going to win. I know these guys. We are going to win. Ready? Oh, shit. Like, as leads fly past him. And he, Ugh. So he'll be lucky to stay on the pitch the whole match. Well, but we know he's not going to play the whole match. Minute four yellow card, an assist in the first half okay. for David Luiz. There you go. All right, enough of the talk. Let's talk predictions, all right? What's the final score of the game going to be, guys? Leeds, Arsenal, what's it going to be? Lolo, I'll let you take this one. Oh, why, thank you. What a gentleman. Um, <laughs> uh, We're talking a De Bruyne gentleman? Stay in classy, yeah. Not as much of a gentleman as De Bruyne, but um, <laughs> I'm going to say 3-2 Arsenal. I think it's going to be a bitter. I think goals are going to be scored right away. And then it's going to calm down. And then the end of the game is going to be another flurry of goals. Um, and I'm going to say we, we're going to take it. Thomas Partey is going to get an assist. David Luiz will get an assist. Gabriel will get a goal with his head. And um, right. Bamford will get two. Oh, a brace for Bamford. Okay. Yeah. And then he'll be itching for a hat trick the whole time and shoot with the wrong foot and uh, <laughs> look awkward and launch it over the fence try and get a shoulder goal <laughs> not gonna happen all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna switch it around i'm gonna say three two leads and i and i'm gonna predict that rafinha uh breaks through and gets his first goal on the senior team all right so rafinha i think rodrigo is gonna score and then i'll go with hmm i'm gonna go with cliche cliche so i think bamford's scoreless wow he's goalless in this one but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three to two. I think we jump out to an early lead. I want to say, you know, one nothing, two nothing, and then I think Arsenal comes back and we pick up and we get a late one. All right. Okay. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Not so quick, winner. guys. I've got a prediction. Oh shit! I'm gonna go. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going with Leeds, James. You're gonna be happy about this. It's gonna be two one. Uh, oh, uh, right. uh, Arsenal is gonna get no less than two goals called off because of offsides and uh, there'll be a there'll be a handball penalty on Leeds 
<laughs> gotcha. Wait, yeah. for against Leeds? <laughs> against Leeds. There'll be a hand so, in. So that's how, that's how Arsenal is going to score their, their goal, just like, it, you know. That's you the know. that's the only goal we it's have the only, in the past four, four I am matches. I very, very well aware. It's a penalty. Have we mentioned that Bamford has almost as many goals as the entire team? I think we have. Yeah, no, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with Mark. I think that uh, VAR is going to play a role uh, at some point in this match. I think it's going to be a crucial role. Yeah, and that's, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate that we have to talk about that every week. How VAR is gonna <laughs> like? It I, is. It is, but it's, it's become our reality. Yeah. Uh, not a. It's not a. It's not a. It's a grim reality, but yeah. it's a reality nonetheless. You know? Yeah. That sucks. Um, okay. I I want to know your predictions of how many yellow cards are gonna be in the match. Total. How many yellow cards? Um, I'm going to go three. I think the match is going to be a little more chippy. I think the match is going to be a little more chippy. I'm going at least five. At least five? At wow. least five. Yeah. I'm going with four. Oh, you're going to take the middle ground, yeah. I see. Well, I'm, I'm going to say three Arsenal, <laughs> one Leeds. But, uh, no yeah. red cards. No red cards. No red Please. cards? Come on. No red cards. Well, <laughs> All right. except for David Louise, maybe. Exactly, exactly. All right, so next question. Uh, uh, we, know, we know the score predictions, uh, but uh, James, uh, when it uh, leads scoring, who's going to score the first goal? I think Rodrigo scores the first one. All right. Ah, Rodrigo. So he said Rodrigo, Rafinha, and Cleach. All right, Lolo, for Arsenal, who scores that first goal if they score? Come on, man. Everyone scores against Leeds. At least we're going to score one. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be on the handball. <laughs> on the handball. In that case, it would be a Aubameyang. But I'm going to say we actually put a corner kick into the box, and it's going to be Gabriel. Mm. Gabriel with a, with a header. He's going to score the no, first He's goal. not going to score with his armpit? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I want to know what percentage of the match – is Bielsa going to be squatting versus sitting on his bucket? <laughs> well, it, de it, dep it depends on which way the match is going. <laughs> if it's going well for Leeds, he'll be sitting. On the bucket. Uh, I, would say se I would say 75% of the match. Ah. If it's not going well, I think he's going to be squatting and standing, a combination of the two, for half the match. <laughs> but he'll be on his bucket for at least... 50% of the match. Okay, Mark, give us Bielsa. Do it. Now get mad, get mad, get mad. Now pull the grass. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that there's like a patch of dirt under him because he keeps pulling the grass out. And just... <laughs> okay. uh, any, any more predictions that we want to do? I'm trying to think. Okay. That's not a prediction, though. So, whatever. All right, you know, you've, got, you've got the lead side and you've got the Arsenal side. But for the match, you can take one of your players and trade for someone on the opposite team. Who would it be? Who would you? Oh, that's who, a good question. You know, but you know. Lolo, I'll let you take this one. Can I trade Ozil? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He has to be uh, yeah, somebody yeah, who would someone, start. Someone that you were like, you know what? I wish we had this guy for this guy. Um. Uh. Stuart Dallas for Bellerin. Ooh, really? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm not as Bellerin. big of a hater on Bellerin as I most like people Bellerin. are this season because he's been he's playing quick. well offensively. And he plays very but well. But his defense has been short. Um, but the thing is, I, I don't think anyone from Leeds, maybe besides Calvin Phillips, starts for Arsenal. As bad as Arsenal are and as good as Leeds look, Leeds are a unit. Arsenal's yeah. a bunch of individuals. Yeah, we're a work in progress. So, like, as good as Stuart Dallas is, as good as Luke Ayling, as good as all these guys are on their own, I, I don't think many of them move to a team like Arsenal and start. Mm. Maybe next season, maybe after a, a year of coming off the bench, they start. But you look at $70 million Nikola Pepe. He doesn't start. Unless you play for the Ro Europa Cup. Yeah. The Europa League. Yeah. But All right, I mean, well, for me, I think for me it's pretty easy. 
Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to say Gabriel for Liam Cooper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that would be that would be my choice. Yeah. Uh, I love Gabriel's game. I always have. I think I think I love I love the the uh, offensive uh, side of his game, too, that he brings when he's in, you know, on a set piece. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really like him. So I would I would take Gabriel and, and, and trade Liam Cooper. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, I love Liam Cooper. I've always said that I love Coops, but Gabriel, definitely. All right. Well, we'll see if any of that happens. We'll see how right I am or maybe James is right or who I'm knows? I'm never right. He might even be right. <laughs> it's 2020, you know, <laughs> who knows? Yes. Um, but once anything again, could happen. Once again, thank you so much for being with me, Mark. Thank you so much, James, for being with us. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell. It feels so good. Um, and let's go. Let's come on, you gunners. <laughs> okay, go lids. Come on, you whites. <laughs> you can't say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> come on. What can we say?